Pembroke Pines is honoring the lives of two teenagers. They were both tragically killed in separate crashes. Local 10 News reporter Sanella Sabovic is live to tell us about the special street dedication today. Sanella. Janice and Christy, the city of Pembroke Pines, as you mentioned, and remembered two beautiful lives cut way too short in two different traffic accidents that occurred along this very busy intersection. They dedicated Northwest 125th Avenue in their honor. Their families say it's a very emotional day, but more needs to be done to control the traffic flow along this very busy intersection. But today we have the sad duty to commemorate lives that were cut short. Uh, by recklessness. Two families coming together today, unified by their heartbreaking losses. The Torres family lost their daughter, 15 year old Cassie, and the Abrahams family lost their loved one, 14 year old Alexandra, in two separate traffic accidents along the intersection of Northwest 125th Avenue and Taft Street in Pembroke Pines. The city remembering both young victims today and dedicating Northwest 125th Avenue as Abrahams Torres Avenue. Ten years ago, Abrahams was walking to school when she was struck by a minivan. She died four days later. It's been a very, very emotional roller coaster. Cassie just celebrated her 15th birthday and was on her bike heading to Starbucks when she was struck by a woman driving a Mercedes. Her bike was left split in half. She was raced to Memorial Regional Hospital where she died a short time later. It, it breaks me. I'll never get over it. It just it, it, it breaks me. She was just not a reckless teenager. She was not a typical. She was just pure, innocent 15 year old. Just so very heartbreaking and the families tell me there have been numerous traffic accidents along this very busy intersection. They are hoping that a traffic light is installed here and the city says that they've been working on it, but it's ultimately up to the county to place one in here, but that they will keep trying. That's the latest here from Pembroke Pines. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.